Adesanya. Adesanya. How would you know that? Because Helwani, that's why bro. Yo, I, I read that um, he left ESPN. I heard about that, but can we just say one real thing, like really quickly? What? And I want to say this. Uh, it's very proud of this moment. Okay. What? Episode ten. Oh yeah, very nice, very nice. Episode ten. It's not that big of a deal, but it's a very big deal, bro. Why? We've done other more episodes than ten, but I know. But episode ten with cameras on. This whole time I wasn't even talking to them inside the microphone, bro. That's okay. What an accomplishment, huh? What an accomplishment. Yeah, ten episodes. Good I'm job. Very proud of this day. Still have to do more. I told you that I'm committed to this for at least two years. At least two, that's been, it. No, like like hardcore. We're sp- it's pretty hard. And then after the like, motivation will go down a little bit. <laughs> I'll be tired right of now. looking at this guy over here playing pool. No, this is a, this is a good long term project. In a few years, one million subscribers. How long did it take for your other channel to get ten thousand? So Whoa. you do like a clips channel, uh, like something completely unrelated. But okay, twenty nineteen September. Is that when you started to like actually do it? Do you mean like clips, or do you mean like <laughs> other stuff? Because I start off with NBA videos. Okay, how did you start off? How did you go? How long did it take? Hold on, hold on. Relative to us, right? So how long did it take you to go from like 2,000 to almost 10,000 now? There's a big gap between... So from 2,000 to 5,000? Answer the freaking question. What are you trying to ask me a question? Okay. So from 2,000 to 5,000, it was really fast because of Khabib videos. And then ever since then, it's been really, really, really slow because there's no videos to post. Mm. But recently... Training videos, bro. Ten thousand comparison like and stuff. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I click on the, on them sometimes because they're good. Because it's fun, right? It's fun to watch, bro. Yes, they they don't actually like. It's not the actual training that they do for the other fighter. Like, <clears throat> like you put in. Like, give me an example of one recently. Uh, Adesanya and Vittori. Yeah. So the clips of Adesanya training is probably from like 2008 <laughs> or something. <laughs> you can see his hair is completely different, all that kind of stuff. The issue is, bro, is that, that you, you want to use videos that you can find on Instagram. Because on then, Instagram? Because then you can use them, right? If I go on YouTube and I copyright some, uh, some guy's video. So how, what do you go? You go on Instagram, Instagram and then Instagram. look at their posts? Look at their posts. It's really hard because not all them post are training videos, right? So if worse comes to worse, I have to go on YouTube. And go on like ES News or something. <laughs> Ellie Setback <laughs> reporting. But uh, does he copyright? Reporting. Does he recover it? Uh, no, he doesn't. Bro. Okay, that's, he's a real one. But those guys reuse the same content over and over again. Uh, it reminds me of somebody. You know, I try my best. Hey, I, I respect. It Honestly, I, I went on your your views and it showed like um, it's like thirteen thousand. Beautiful. Bro. Fourteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. And I was like, no way. So that? Not fun, like I was like, uh, that's a, that's a lot of views for somebody. I that see videos doesn't now? deserve them. Huh? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I see videos now, like in my thing, it's like fifty k or eighty k. I'm like, okay, whatever, bro. This, this is it's, it's just like, you know, typical. You know? I'm like eighty k, you know, no problem. It's but little, uh, yeah, how was your week? It's good. I got a lot of mosquito bites. From yesterday? No, sorry, from Friday? Yeah, just in general. I don't like mosquitoes. Bro, I had a mosquito trapped in the car. I'm friends with the mix- mosquito he's sitting over there. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we you know, said? we're in the podcast scene. We have to address it just before everything else starts. Helwani leaves ESPN. Is that one of the news? Yeah, well, no, it's not. Let's just make it, let's make it the news. No, we're not going to do that. Why not? No. Another topic. I can't. There's no way. <laughs> Why not? six topics. I cannot do that. So take one of them off. No, these are very good topics. So, uh, these are like high quality topics. This is like 100K I topics. haven't seen these topics yet, and I'm very worried. So let's just I'm, get, in, let's get into the topics. Let's get into the topics. Let's, let's start, Because we're running start, out of time, yeah. Israel Adesanya and Marvin Vittori hate each other. <laughs> they like I saw a comment in the video. They're like, "This is this is not an interview. This is an MW2 lobby." Oh, you're talking about the the <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, is, this is an MW2 lobby. These guys are going back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should give them uh, some background on what an MW2 lobby is. Go ahead. So uh, imagine sweet. you're playing MW2, and the map is Rust. Okay, <laughs> in the pregame lobby, a bunch of squeakers is yelling at each other. Yeah. So just you know, just talking back. So he's talking about a video yelling. game. If you guys don't know, Modern Warfare Two is is as a Call of Duty game. He's just saying how toxic those lobbies were, like the the chats between people, random people. They're just going back and forth. But it's kind of fun. Like I, I think both of them are having fun with it. Like even though I don't know, they hate each other though. You yeah, can tell they just no, no, no. I think I think they're both like just um, they're both trolling each other. But at the same time, they're just like, they're not taking it so seriously, right? There's not a point where you see like, where, where uh, like Connor, you know how Connor was with Khabib? Yeah. Where he just like, he went to that next level where he's like, oh, 
uh, I hope, mate. I hope, mate. You know, there's like this that where he's talking about like his family and then country, yeah, and yeah, all that kind of stuff. No, I this, get it. This is more of like you know, like just banter. But it's kind of it's kind of toxic. Yes, it's banter mixed with toxicism, and it's and it's mixed with yeah, uh, uh, like a revenge match, basically. Yeah, it do, it doesn't Both come off as if like these guys are going to like like slit each other's throat or anything like that. If they if they see each other, they're going to start brawling and stuff. It's more of like. Uh, like just like f- just banter back and forth. Who do you think forth. besides Khabib uh, would have that have that kind of uh, dynamic? I think probably Jorge and and you know, thing and Colby for sure. Yeah, they they kind they kind of did have. Uh, oh, they, Who else do you think? They they kind of had. The, there's there's a lot. Of, uh, Nate and Connor oh, kind of no, had no. that that going on. They were throwing bottles at each other. But what are you talking yeah, about? There's like a mutual respect. They threw though. metal aluminum cans there's full a, with liquid at each other's head. What are you talking like about? There's like a mutual respect now between them two. Sure, but I'm, you're you're asking like who would who do that kind of stuff? Says those guys. Uh, bro, you just want me to hate on all these fighters and yeah. call them crazy or something? No, 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 bro. I'm, I'm preparing for the future. I don't want you canceled, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't want any of these fighters to 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 dig up one of our videos and be like, hey, man. Back in 2021, you talk trash. You call me this. You call me that. I and can't. I can't come on the quick, show. Uh, quick side: If you're a fighter and you watch this video, I don't care who you are. Okay. <laughs> no, honestly, honestly, you can have. Anybody? You can have. You can have ten honestly, followers, um, and you can be a fighter. Come on our interview. We will interview you. We will have have B roll and everything. Just, yeah. go, just come to the video. It's, it, it, honestly, it's gonna have to take uh, us doing like maybe like four or five interviews before we get it rolling, right? Yeah. Because what's the first thing that you would do if you if you saw like somebody messaging you, hey come come do an interview? How many interviews have you done? No, what would you do? No. Nah. What do you mean? <laughs> What, what would you do if if somebody messaged you, hey, can, uh, I want to do an interview with you? What would you do next? I would tell them, let's set up a time. Okay. <laughs> no, you would you would just automatically agree to it. Yeah, of course. No matter anybody, anybody. messages you, anybody. Okay, this honestly, anybody. Man. Some uh, bro, I'm trying to lead you bro. into it, and you still miss. Lead I'm saying, what? I'm saying is that you, first thing you do is you go to their channel. You look at what else they did, who oh, they are, you want me all to that take kind the of stuff. Point of view. That's what I just said. Uh, I said yeah, imagine I that, somebody I asked that, you that. to. Anyways, back to the topic, bro. With uh, with Adesanya and Vittori. Yeah, you what's know? the topic? You hate, they hate each other. Yeah, and this fight is coming up, man. Fight's yeah, up. I know. We By made the time video. You guys watch this, it'll probably be in like in a few days. So uh, yeah, yeah. So it's be, you know, it's be a good fight. We've analyzed it so much. We've had a lot of dislikes. I had a lot of likes. <laughs> but um, I know. made I made like four different videos uh, where we're just me talking. I mean, we made other videos in the past, but mainly about Izzy and his stage right now. We made about four videos. One about uh, is Izzy broken? Um, now that's that's kind of a clickbait title, but Bro. my my point of that was uh, Izzy uh, will Izzy be able to come back the same as before the on fight? Is his confidence is his confidence shaken? Uh, is other people's confidence even higher now because they saw what Yon did? Um, and then we did another video where we said uh, if if uh, Marvin Why, yeah. were to win this fight. Uh, via KO or he were to win this fight this is how he does it and we went through okay um, Marvin is very good at grappling Izzy um, tends to um, tends to give up open cage uh, takedowns uh, all that kind of stuff you can go and go to our channel and look at that video uh, but there, there's a lot of topics about Izzy that we can we can go uh, over um, but for for this topic I think this it's it's a little it's a, it's a little fun I think I think Marvin is uh, finally getting attention that he he deserves. There's been for, it's been so long where um, like if you go to his post fight conference stuff and he has like twenty thousand views. Yo, but like if you watch his fights, his he has I a really he good style. Views, by the I wish I was. Yeah. yeah, he has a really good style, bro. He's a pressure fighter too, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you would think that like his kind of style, his whole like persona, he'd be a big guy. Yeah, but it, I guess not yet. Uh, the, I think there's a lot of stuff with him. He's Italian born. Um, he speaks English really well though. Yeah, uh, he's he's more like the European kind of guy. Um, not many of the big interviewer guys really interviewed him before. Let's get this guy um, on our show then, man. Yeah, he, he, now I think it's because it was now. Izzy, it's it's too late. But honestly, I've messaged guys that are much more newer to the UFC that don't have the resume that Marvin does, and and they still ignore We're me. Like but fake friends, who are they? On to the next. Yeah, but please, somebody. Answer, answer a single DM, please. Just at least reject, at least reject us. At you know, that, listen. Just, just, just read it, bro. <laughs> just read it, bro. I want to see. Except I want to see on on Instagram scene. Okay. Oh, that's Leave it. me on red. Oh Leave my me god. on red. I don't care. Leave oh me on red. Oh my god. If I see a scene, bro, I'm, I'm forget happy. Forget about it, bro. We win. I get it.
Leon Edwards versus uh, Nate Nathaniel Diaz. <laughs> Nathaniel is not his middle name. I know, I mean, I know but just like, imagine, imagine if his middle name was actually Nathaniel. Nate Nathaniel. Nathaniel. What Anyways, about him? This is gonna be a sick fight. Yeah, it's happening very soon. UFC 263. Is it the same card as the Izzy one? It's yeah, it's a third I believe fight. Believe so, right? It's third fight. I believe uh, so. You know what? That card is gonna be long. If we are you available that day? What day is that? It's twelfth. <laughs> you just said. Oh, so what's the next Saturday? <laughs> Next, next week Saturday yeah, Why not Okay We'll do a podcast the, today too uh, Hopefully the guy behind the camera Is also here too Hopefully not um, but. <laughs> Hopefully not <laughs> <laughs> I'm only saying it Because he's, he's sitting right there I know um, Anyways uh, This is going to be This is going to be It's going to be a long card You know why especially This Nate Diaz And the Unk fight It's also five rounds There's two title fights also As well Bro, on there Have you seen the card though Co-main event Figueredo versus Yeah a Marino, guys, right? That's probably gonna go at least. That's four, five a, that's rounds. a good fight. Yeah, that's yeah. a good fight. Okay. Main event: Vittori Izzy, and then your third fight. That's probably gonna go maybe four or five rounds. Yeah. Third fight: Edwards versus Nate Diaz. That's going five rounds. That is that's that's potential to be card of the year, maybe, or it might be a snooze fest. Honestly, who's the, who's the fourth fight? No, there's Before only three them. three of the big ones. That's it. Okay. No, there's oh. other fights uh, on the card as well. We can go over the card uh, closer to the fight, but um, I mean, we're doing it right now. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking about Nate and uh, and Leon. So I, w- I wanted to make a video on how Nate could win this fight. Right? Nate can ha- has the the opportunity to to win this fight, and we talked about it previously when when it was first announced. That's cap. What? Honestly, Nate, you're a sick fighter, bro, but I don't think you're beating Leon Edwards. Okay, okay. We're That's never interviewing Nate Diaz. <laughs> okay, so write, write him off the list. Um, we talked about uh, once this fight was booked, was um, what what potentially could be the outcomes of this fight, Shit. right? So one outcome could be Leon wins this fight, and now he's a bigger star. Everybody By knows him. By vicious KO. Yo, why are you screaming? <laughs> <I'm> sorry, go <laughs> He can go on and be this biggest star uh, and then potentially go fight for the title, right? Rematch Kamar Usman, um, who looks like Kamar Usman is going to fight um, Colby Covington. It's not scheduled yet, but anyways, that's a different topic. Um, and then the other way around was... If- that actually is a topic. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, that's another topic. So the other side of the coin is Nate Diaz could win this fight. And if Nate Diaz beats one of the top uh, welterweights of the division right now, I don't see a... Um, I don't see, I I can see. Sorry, it's not far fetched. It's not okay. Uh, <laughs> I can see the UFC making it Nate Diaz versus Kamar Usman. Now, does that really make sense? Not necessarily. But if you beat, he tells you this because I tell you this because Nate Diaz beating a top welterweight adds to his already huge resume. Yes, he has a lot of losses, but he does have a lot of wins. Um, and Nate Diaz has made it um, kind of his thing, his his mo to win fights at the most opportune time. His mo, a mode of Mojo? operation. It's 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 an expression. It's, okay, it's for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You don't know. You never heard mo. Actually, I have you right. Yeah, right. you just, you just he's lying. He's, he's, <laughs> like, he's, he's never heard of it in his life. So uh, he takes uh, hit the, the, whenever he's uh, given an opportunity, he takes it and he wins the fight. Uh, you look at the Michael Johnson fight. He won that fight. He took the opportunity and then it uh, parlayed him into taking another opportunity, and that was a Connor fight. And he won. He won that fight. He made him the biggest, one of the biggest stars in, in the UFC, and and a huge. A huge start. He took the opportunity of uh, facing Pettis, right, and, be, and beat Pettis. He now he's taking an opportunity to opportunity to Warriors. face Leon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my my point is it, it is that okay, he yeah. propels uh, a fight that he ne- doesn't necessarily uh, um, win uh, all the time, and he wins that fight, right? And so he he cut. He's a gamer, you know. He comes in and he he's wins. A gamer. Yeah. But question though, like before his whole thing with Connor, right? Yeah, how how big of a star was he? Like, Not UFC? very much. No, he was always seen as uh, Nick Diaz, Nick Nick Diaz's little brother. He was always a guy that just won uh, all the Ultimate Fighter. He has wins here, win losses there. Doesn't really finish people. Like he's 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 like entertaining, but he's like the actual guy's little brother. And then once that Michael Johnson thing happened, and then he went to face Connor, then he kind of overtook Nick, Nick, Diaz. Nick, Nick Diaz. So yeah. um, Leon Edwards has to be very, very careful. 
careful. Neon Edwards is the younger fighter, the more primed, uh, the, the more techniqued overall package. He is, this is his fight to lose, right? Like he's obviously going to have a lot more pressure to, to not lose this fight as opposed to Nate Diaz. Nate, Nate Diaz honestly has everything to gain. If he wins this, he could go and fight for the title. Now, I don't necessarily agree win. with that, right? Or think that he would win the title, but crazy things have happened. But I don't think that's a like a complete write-off. You can put him into a title match if he beats Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards is like ranked number two. Like, why not? He just beat the number two welterweight. He's uh, top ranked at, at 155. Like, why he, not put him? Uh, he fought below Muhammad, right? Leon yeah. Edwards? Yeah, but then it was a no it, contest. Because his eye poke? Because the eye poke that... Uh, Legendary eye poke. <laughs> But Leon Edwards is 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 um, has a lot to lose in this fight. Do I think he's going to lose? No. Uh, but there's an opportunity to make a make a video where we can go over why or how Nate Diaz wins the fight. Now, is there time? I don't know if there there's time to do that because it's it's a lot of work. Um, even the video, the Marvin versus uh, Izzy one that we made uh, previously on channel, how we th could see um, Marvin winning the fight. That took a lot of time. So it's gonna end by right uppercut, left overhand. Who? For Izzy. Are you Book Izzy? It. Why are you slapping your chest? Book it. Are you from Nigeria? <laughs> this guy, bro. <laughs> He's 116th Nigerian. <laughs> Paulo Costa stands up for UFC fighter pay and yeah. refuses to fight against. Um, no, I don't think he refused to fight. Is Who's that, he gonna fight again? It's hard. Oh, it was, it was him, with, yeah, him and Cannoneer. Well, you know, there's, there's some memes on Instagram saying that Calvin Gaslam keeps uh, keeps like uh, what's filling, in for, filling in for Costa. for Costa, right? So there's a potential for Calvin Gaslam versus Calvin Gaslam <laughs> because he, if he faces yeah. Paul Costa, there's a chance. No, I, I don't think um, he pulled out because of the fighter pay, right? That's I, what I was reading because he was saying that. I think like, those are two different things. We'll we'll go over. Um, next week if then we'll find out but I guess the whole fighter pay thing he's saying that the whole thing with Floyd and Logan right and these YouTubers getting all this yeah. money and then Uncle uh, like he's not paying them well Uncle Dana yeah. they're completely two, two different entities like the boxing pay-per-views is different from, from the UFC yeah. I think his his uh, like the headline was I'm in main event I want to be paid like a main event fighter so uh, maybe his contract is probably the one that he got right after the the ultimate fighter because he was in the the ultimate fighter competition um i believe it was like brazil versus something right <clears throat> so he is saying that he wants to have more pay and i get it everybody wants to get paid more um comparing, John to, Jones. comparing to boxing though is is not the right thing to do why not boxing even the the um the the, the discrepancy between the top boxing and the bottom of boxing is a lot higher than what it is in the UFC. The right. top and the bottom is not as wide as the top and bottom of, of, of boxing. Uh, what Boxing is much, much more established, right? Boxing has a lot more rules and regulations. Boxing has a lot more um, competition, a lot more avenues, a lot more promotions. UFC, however, is they just went public uh, under Endeavor, uh, but previous to this point, a lot of everything that they did was was private, right? Every all the UFC pay per views are private, fighter pays are private, bonuses here and there, um, and they have a monopoly. When you have a monopoly, you really don't have much competition. If a fighter goes out and says, "Oh, oh I want more pay," and the UFC says, "No, you have a contract," there, there's a stalemate. And rarely have we seen anybody beat that system. There's only some people. We've gone over this before. Connor GSP has has beat that system uh, by, like, for example, when he came back for Michael Bisping, uh, Jorge Masvidal. But that was really um, like a unique situation, right? Where he filled in on seven day notice or whatever, how many day notice it was? I think it's five days. Huh? Five days, maybe. Yeah, for Kamar Usman, and then you have uh, Connor who just just breaks everything maybe Khabib if he comes back maybe that's a different that's a different talk of it <laughs> god damn Ali Abdul Aziz 100 million yo yo if you're Did watching you watch this podcast that? of course if you're watching this podcast <laughs> come on sign, our show yo sign us bro yo, Ali Abdul Aziz bro we will literally 
We will literally Honestly, put a poster of you up here. We could we could have interviews just with his guys. I would love to. And and we'll to. be the biggest, bro. The biggest. Islam Makhshev, Usman Nurmagomedov. Yeah, love. keep going. Umer, go. Khabib, go. Cormier, go. And <laughs> Ali Abdul Aziz, go, bro. Is Cormier under him? Yeah. Is oh, he? and Nasrat, you know. Go. Just keeps on There's going. There's so many bro. people. Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje. Eddie Alvarez. Uh, I think uh, Helwani too. Why not throw him in there? <laughs> Imagine we'll Helwani is actually signed Javier under. Javier Mendez. Javier Mendez. Luke oh. Rockhold. I don't know. I think you're just saying names at this point. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> you just that gem, you know. You <laughs> you're know? just assuming that they're yeah. that they're under under all the other Uh Sorry. Uh, what's the, yeah? Paulo Costa. I think Paulo Costa is still the last time he pulled out of his his fight with Robert Whitaker. I think it was Robert. Wobber, I forget who it was. Uh, he pulled out because of uh, recovering complications. So if you've seen this, not just in, in the UFC, but in other sports and just around the world, people, uh, some people have harder time uh, coming back and recovering from, from uh, the virus situation that they have. He caught COVID? Yeah, he, he got it bad. Oh, and sure. then he had to pull out a month prior, just like Hamzat, for example, uh, because he wasn't able to, to uh, recover in time and also wasn't able to train properly. Yeah. So, uh, Paulo Costa, I, I agree. Um, the UFC needs to, to pay their fighters a lot more. That's not really going to happen until there's uh, a union. To put a union into the UFC is going to take a lot, especially considering like what the UFC is and what they do. Uh, and who they're owned by they're owned by um uh, endeavor which is like um like a talent agency company where those type of people are like like not the 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 the, the nicest people right they're they're much more um like like uh, talent i don't even know man honestly forget scum. about it. <laughs> i don't want to scum <laughs> yo if you're watching you're scum yeah, yeah. and um when your stock goes on sale, I'm gonna buy your stock. It it, it went down uh, after it. after it opened. I know then. it did. I know it did. So you buying it? Maybe. Michael Chandler versus Justin Gaethje is an exciting fight. Is it exciting? Is, it is. It will be bombs. Bombs away. Bombs. Away. That that fight has potential to be fight of the year if it happens this year. Did you see um, Eddie Alvarez? Where Eddie. He chimed. He chimed in as well. What did he say? He told uh, Michael Chandler not to fight Justin Gaethje. He's like, that's <laughs> not that's not a matchup that you want. And the, the the reason why he's saying that is for many reasons. He fought Eddie Alvarez, so Eddie, Eddie Alvarez fought Justin Gaethje, but he also fought Michael Chandler. Fought both, eh? So and they had a rivalry, uh, Michael Chandler and Eddie Alvarez down in uh, Bellator. So he kind of he kind of sent some smoke over. He's like, yo, you don't want any of uh, Justin Gaethje. You don't, want J- yo, but yeah, but Gaethje's a monster, bro. Yeah, th- that's gonna be an exciting fight. Just yo, Gaethje, he yeah. fights one fifty five, right? When he when he walks, he's like two hundred, man. Who? Gaethje. This guy's huge. I don't know if he's 200. That guy is built but like a monster, All of those bro. guys are, are around 200. Because all of those guys are like 5'9 to f- like 5'11. Six. Yeah. F- six, right? There's nobody that's really 6. Like, um, who, who's Khabib. 6? Khabib's not 6. Connor. Connor's like 5'9. <laughs> I, I know. I'm just kidding. I don't know. The, the only person that's like close to 6 is like probably uh, was like Nate and, and Cerrone. But most of these guys are around that 5'7 five, five, to 5'10 range. Yeah. When you're around that that weight, you tend to weigh in that 200 range, yeah. right? Like just below 200, 195 to like 205. Anyways, Challenge that, that fight that fight will be very very exciting. It has a lot of contender implications. You might you might see Michael Chandler, you know, win that fight if he wins that fight, and then he can go make weight and be a fill in for a title fight again. Make weight and go home again. Maybe this time you he makes know, weight and know. he fills in. Well, listen, here's the one fill, Here's the, the dream plan, okay? That's okay. kind of for me, okay? Okay. Well, whose dream is it? Oh, it's dream, my dream, okay? okay. So, That's Connor cool. beats Poirier. Yeah. First thing, okay? That's done. Okay. Okay, then Connor fights. Who? Connor fights Oliveira. Okay. Connor wins that fight. Does, okay. yeah, okay. Finish. Khlas. Khabib comes back. Faces who? Connor Khabib too. In the summer of 2022. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, What a fight. So we were just talking about Michael Chandler and Justin Gaethje, and you just turned it into you have Connor to. and, and you have Khabib. To. You have to. So you, this is a different topic. Are you not talking about... I agree, I agree. You know, but listen, like... All <laughs> what this, a stupid dream. All this... <laughs> yo, all this... <laughs> yo, stop all dreaming, this ties bro. In together, just go bro. to sleep. Don't dream. All of this ties in together, bro. Listen, I realize life is a dream, and I dream lucid. Yo, lucid dreaming, I don't want to touch that. Why not? 
That's some scary stuff. It's not scary, bro. It's good stuff. Yeah, wait, you lose the dream? A lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, bro. That's weird, bro. No, but Chandler Gaethje, man, it's going to happen this year, I think. So, Justin Gaethje has been uh, in, like, he, he's like the the lightweight version of Stipe Miocic. This guy has fought everybody, bro. <laughs> but Poirier, Khabib, yeah. uh, freaking Tony Ferguson, yeah. probably meet Chandler next. So, what I meant by that, yes, that, that also works, but I meant as in he waits, he's waiting for the, the title shot, just like Stipe Miocic, who, who refused to fight anybody else and was like, no, I'm not fighting anyone else. I want a rematch with DC. And he waited and Give waited and he waited and waited. And eventually they he gave him the, rem- the rematch and he won him. With DC. Won the fight. So it looks like Justin Gaethje is like, he's out here doing interviews where he's like, oh, I think somebody doesn't like me, all this kind of stuff. Uh, but I think he kind of fails to like, like acknowledge that this lightweight division is all about momentum right now. All yeah. these guys are, are all on the same, even, even level. They're just, they have to do just a little bit more to to edge edge the other guy out, right? Justin Gaethje is coming off a loss to the to the retired champion, yes, and he, he is deserving of a title shot. But when you talk about guys like Dustin Poirier, right? You talk about guys about Conor McGregor. You talk about guys like Michael Chandler. You talk about guys like um, um, Oliver. Ooh, o- Oliver. Did I say Oliver? No. Nope. Yeah. Anyways, all those guys have much more recent uh, pushes to validate their 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 spot, right? Yep. If Connor beats Dustin Poirier, that's much more appealing in in the UFC eyes and probably in fans' eyes than uh, to, to have a title shot, as opposed to saying I just came off my last fight was just a loss to the old champion. Yes. Okay. You. You lost to one of the greatest lightweights uh, of all time, but what have you done recently, right? Have you won? Connor's won. Connor beat the the next up at, at lightweight, well, right? Who's giving him a fight? But who's he gonna fight? He's just sitting there. Chandler. He he could have. Uh, he I I think there was discussion of him fighting him. Um, I I don't know actually, but like now he has opportunity. He can go and fight Michael Chandler. He can go and fight the um, loser Connor and Dustin. He can't fight Paul Felder anymore. <laughs> he, guy, bro. he can fight. There's there's Drew Dober. He can go and fight uh, Islam Makhachev. Right? There's there's yeah. options out there. My point is, is if he's waiting for the opportunity for him to get a taller shot just based off his loss, uh, most recent loss of uh, Habib. To, to Habib, I think he's gonna wait a long time. Uh, and now, sorry, I'm not trying to discount everything else Justin has done. I'm just saying that the way that the lightweight division is right now, it's what have you done for me lately? There's there's other divisions out there with less talent that you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. You can just go in there and be like, oh, look at my resume, right? And and based off of that, you'll get a title shot. Um, but in the lightweight, when there's so many guys, you have to have something recent to validate, to push that, that, that envelope to say, you know what? I deserve it, and this is why, right? Rather than saying I deserve it because of that, right? And, and this challenge fight this. will be that avenue for Gaethje to get a title shot. Yeah, and I think I think Michael Chandler wants to take time off, so I, I don't know. Maybe that 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 favors in uh, Chandler's in favor, but in the fall we'll see that fight. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I, I want to see it regardless. It'll be a good fight. Uh, Jake Paul versus what the hell, man? Why is your 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 uh, microphone doing breakdance uh, moves? <laughs> Why is it like this? So look at my... Anyways, go ahead. Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley. Tyrone, oh my god. <laughs> Tyron. <laughs> Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley is a funny fight. A Why is good it funny? Fight because, you know... This is the best fight of our generation. It could be. It could be. No, actually, the best fight of our generation is Hasbalah versus Abdul Razak. Mm-hmm. Is that actually happening? Yeah. And I made a training comparison for it, too. What? <laughs> <laughs> I made a training comparison, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro, Hasbalah... Let me send that link to me. I want to see Bro, Hasbalah is... is is a leader of the free world. That's not good to say. He's good, bro. Uh, there's a video out there where both of them, uh, you know how the the, you know there's a video. Uh, sorry, they have like a sit down yeah. thing. There's a guy that translates yeah. basically what they say. Okay. And it goes deep, man. These guys are like he hate on it. each other. Bro. The other one, he says to uh, Hospital, he's like, "Yo, you know Russian." And you're so lazy. And if I was, uh, if I knew the stuff that you knew, I would be the biggest star. Blah 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 blah. He's not Russian though. Uh, the, the thing, the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what he's saying. Tajikistan. He's, they were translating um, 
his language to Hasbullah. So they didn't speak the same language to each other. Yeah. Somebody in their ear was translating for them. Yeah. <laughs> so the other one was saying like it was it was trash talking and being like, Oh Abdul Razik? Yeah, yeah, he's like, yo, if if I was Bro. in your position, man, blah blah blah. So it, it's not like so innocent. These guys actually don't Bro. like each other. <laughs> they don't like each other. They have beef. But anyways, um, uh, Jake, Jake Paul, Paul yeah. Jake Paul versus Ty, uh, Tyron Woodley. Um, this is not a good fight for a different Jake this, Paul. This fight, so remember when uh, Jake Paul was going out and tweeting at everybody and calling this guy, this guy out, um, and then you had that that back backstage beef. With uh, Tyron Woodley and, and and Love Heart, what was his name? Love Heart. What was that guy's name? That was uh, Jake Paul's uh, in his in his corner, and he's like, "Young champ, oh, yeah. you don't know about these. Yeah, you don't know Woodley, about these." Oh yeah, yeah, him and Woodley. It, it, going something, back love, and love something. Anyways, Love Heart. It's, it's kind of sus. <laughs> Yo, he's, he's, it's kind of sus. <laughs> that's Woody. his name. Okay, it's yeah, Love Heart. Sure, yeah. um, uh, back in that time, I was like, okay, so uh, Jake Paul has. Uh, Dylan Dan- Dennis lined up. He has KSI lined up. Uh, lined up. He has Logan Paul. Uh, yeah, maybe I don't know Logan Paul. The, he has all these other guys that um, he probably has advantage over, like striking wise, especially in the boxing world. Jake Paul only has like three years of of training experience. He, even if he trains every single day, three years is three years, right? Uh, three years a lot. It's yeah, it's three years, right? So. If you put him against Dylan Dennis, I think he beats him. If yeah. you put him against uh, Hasbullah, I think I think he beats him, yeah, right? Yeah, but it's close, though. It's close, it's close. The one guy that I was like, okay, this is not going to happen, right, uh, was Tyron, t- Tyron Woodley. He did an interview with, um, I think it was Brett Falling in Akumata. and out of love, and in and out of love with you. He did an a, a interview with Brett Okamoto. Um, Okamoto. Okamoto. So he did an interview with him, and he talked about, oh, uh, I'm still on the UFC contract. Please, uh, UFC, let me go. I want to go fight this guy, blah, 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 blah. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, this is not going to happen, right? Jake Paul is not going to go out there and actually accept a fight with a guy that has, uh, like, actual credential striking. His whole game is is revolves around his striking, right is in his hands, <laughs> right? Yes. Like, you're not going to go... Jake Paul is not that, that stupid to go out there and face a guy that actually has striking credentials. Yes, it's not boxing, but it's still... It's very close to boxing. And it's power, too. Right? It's power. The, 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 then the <coughs> announcement came out, and I thought it was fake. I was like, no, there's no way he's facing, facing Tyron Woodley. And then he has that press conference. He has all these back and forth. And Tyron Woodley is, is out there. He's trying to, like... He's trying to validate himself in front of these guys that just don't care. Right, the, he has a bunch of like these. These has a zoo around him, and and <laughs> the they're, they're just cackling and they're laughing at him, and they're they're basically saying, "Look at this guy. You're the UFC. Ben Askren was in the UFC. He was your best friend. You're gonna get dealt with. Who are you? Who are you? You're 40 years old, and you you lost the like, your last four fights. And and Tyron Lee, I I don't blame him, but he he's out there. And he's like, oh, I'm a five time world champion. I I'm this. I used to box. I'm in the street. I was in the streets as a kid. But but he doesn't need to do that, right? He, he he's he's kind of falling into uh, like this 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 um, like uh, casual fan kind of mentality where they actually think that that Jake Paul has better striking than than Tyron Woodley, right? Now. Do I think it's fun? It's fun. I, I like it. It's gonna be fun, right? It's we're gonna both watch it. Hopefully, you don't. You're not invited to no birthday parties or me. You don't, huh? Me, yeah. Where do you. I go? Huh? Where do I go, bro? If somebody invites you for a plate of rice, you'll be like, yo, bro, I, could, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta I can't go. Say no, I, I can't say I no can't to say a no. free plate of rice and chicken. Oh, shh, bro, chicken, that. you'll stay there for the whole night. <laughs> you'll sleep, sleep over, over bro. <laughs> but. Uh, this fight is gonna be really, really fun. Now, uh, I think it's going to end with Tyron Tyron Woodley winning, Vish and Jake Paul going on to face uh, Vish Kale. Yeah, you want to know what? Vish is Kale. and then Jake Paul's gonna go on and probably face KSI. He'll he'll go backwards, um, but I don't think he'll lose uh, on a lot of his, you uh, his wrong, uh, appeal. Jake Paul in the like in the fight clause, he put like a like a rematch, rematch. Clause. but rematch. He, just because you put it, it doesn't mean you have to. Uh, if he goes out there and gets vicious KO, as I think he he will, I don't think he's gonna um, want to necessarily go out and be like, okay, I want to rematch. But these fights right? he's choosing, like 
they're made for him to win. Not this one. This one uh, is not made know. for him to win. It's not. This, so we have a video. You're, you're going to be editing it soon. Uh, I not. already I already wrote it. I, I'm, I'm not editing it. After this. I'm not editing it. Oh, yeah, but yeah. After this, uh-huh. I'm, I'm going to be recording it. Hopefully and and uh, it goes over how Tyron's going to win. And I have... I took screenshots from the fight. Don't you, copyright ooh, us. You took screenshots. I took screenshots. What are you? Garbage, scre- garbage screenshots. That, bro. I respect They're that. Blurry everything, but they do the job, right? They show exactly when and how Tyron Willie is gonna win. And I think if you guys go to that video, it probably I don't know if it, we're trying to get that up as soon as possible. That's gonna be potential for a big view video. Yeah, because they love these. Uh, YouTube fighters and everything, right? <laughs> exactly. I completely forgot. I have to record that after this. Uh, but anyways, um, there, there's there's like, there's a way um, that Tyron wins. And uh, there's a lot of footage and clips that show you, okay, how is this going to happen, right? Um, yes, t- um, Jake Paul has won and, and he's getting better. But there's stuff in his game that you can't just fix. And it's it takes time to learn. How does he win, though, with uh, the... Yeah, basically. Right, right overhand, yeah. Makes sense. Basically. Uncle Chael, we stole this from you. What? So Chael Sonnen, we took this topic from you, okay? What? Osman vs. Covington 2 is a big fight. Why is that... Well, wait, we steal it from him? He made the fight? Yeah, but the topic was like off him, you know? <laughs> wait, 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 I thought I was talking about it earlier today. Yeah, but... but anyways, credit to Chael Sonnen, no problem. Sick guy. If you if you give us a poster, we'll put it right here. <laughs> autograph. Uh, autograph. Put it right there. I'm honest, bro. Honestly, I'll, but, I'll do uh, it. I'll put it know, in my office. This guy's been saying for a long time now that Osman versus Covington two shouldn't happen first. It should be Covington and Jorge first, and then. No, Osman. I didn't. Why? Oh, sorry. No, it was the other way around, right? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. What are you talking about? You would say for these podcasts, though, so they passed a year now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come You're on. completely... You you obviously don't listen, but... Um, I don't listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't listen. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sure. I was saying that Jorge shouldn't um, oh Jorge you're right yeah yeah I agree, I agree. yeah I said the horse should just split up the horse? Covington and the, the what you called horse <laughs> should horse separate it? no no I was saying that Jorge Masvidal yeah. shouldn't combine the opportunity to fight for the title with Colby Covington so he shouldn't fight Colby Covington as like a number one contender fight he should fight Colby Covington a little bit later on as a grudge match so that's what I was talking about now Kumar Usman versus Colby Covington too is very very interesting. Now, how how legitimate or how valid is is his claim to that it's to valid. that spot is it's wishy washy, right? It's kind of it's similar but different from the Jorge situation. Um, Kumar Usman has come out and said two two big things, right? He says. I'm making a victory. I'm doing a victory lap, right? Similar to what you did in grade 12, right? So you see what the hell? Excuse me. You went to grade 12. (laughs) What? I took. I I went to university. You went to grade 12, and then you're like, oh shoot, my marks weren't that good. And then you did another year in in high school, and you probably him. I don't know what me. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, so uh, what Kamaru Usman says that he's doing basically a victory lap. So he's beating everybody that he already beat previously, just to prove, like, okay, uh, I I cannot. I didn't only beat them that night i, I can also beat them uh, any any day right he did that first earning with jorge masvidal now somebody else or the other people that are on the list are um leon edwards uh, another person on the list is um let me another person on the list who else did he beat <laughs> Woodley. Woodley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not in the UFC anymore. <laughs> Anyways, Leon Edwards and another one would be um, a Colby, Colby Covington, Covington, right? Yeah. So his intention is, okay, I already beat these guys. I'm going to have to face them again. Uh, I might as well just start off with uh, whoever is available uh, first. Uh, the second thing is um, he kind of made it clear that he doesn't want to go to 185 uh, as long as Israel Adesanya is the champion. If Israel Adesanya is a champion, he's not going to go go up uh, and, and challenge for that title. So what does that mean? He's going to have to stay at 170 and fight all these guys. But if Izzy loses... We made... Wait, 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 hold on. Wait a second. What? I sent you that video. You didn't edit it. So we have another video. <laughs> we do, that you, we do, we do, okay. We do. Anyways, that video was about how I don't think um, Kamaru Usman will ever go to 185 in his career. Uh, the reason why is, just to summarize... I, should I summarize it? I don't know. Don't do it. Don't do it. That, that Anyways, video will go up this week. So th- there, there's a reason why I think Kamaru Usman will never go to 185. Um, I kind of we did a little video, but he still has to edit it. Anyways, um, 
Kamaru Usman versus Colby Covington too. Colby Covington, the last one he he's had is against who? Do you know? <laughs> Tyron Woodley. Woodley yeah, I know, I know. Is, is his last one, and he's been adamant about sitting out. He had an opportunity to go and fight Leon Edwards. He said no. He had an opportunity to fight uh, Wonder Boy. He said no. He had an opportunity to fight um, Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal. No. And I think I think he said yes, but I think Jorge said no. Jorge but said no, yeah. my point is, is that Colby has come out and said many times, like I'm not doing any more favors. The UFC owes me. Right? I've done so many favors to the UFC. Took in short notice fights here. Main evented. Did this. Did that. Did this. Did that. Publication. Blah, bam. 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 Took that phone call from Donald Trump on Dragon Energy. Dra- he took. He took that call on on live TV. Boosted their ratings. All that kind of stuff. He's like, you know what? This is this time for for me to get get what I deserve. To extend, I, I I agree with him. But at the same time, it's just he's kind of the benefit of the situation. There's really nobody else that's really available that's not already booked. And he's <laughs> he's he's like uh, if you just go over who's who's fighting and who's available and all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, Leon Edwards is already booked with with Nate Diaz. Uh, Wonder Boy is is already booked with um, who who's he booked with? Kiesa. I uh, know uh, Burns. Burns just came off a loss, Giba right? Burns? So uh, th- there's the, the Kiesa? of Where's the choices. Kiesa, uh, yeah, I think Kiesa is another. <laughs> you guys shine the bus. Bro? I think I think Kiesa. They want him to have one more fight and yeah. then fight for the title. Uh, but of the options, right? Colby Covington was the, the one that was available. And if um, Kamaru Usman wants to fight in the fall time. Like w- why? Season. Why not do Colby Covington? Yep. Right? There's not. So just to end it off, though. Between those two, who wins? I, I, say, I think uh, so. Colby Covington. The reason why, the main reason why he lost that first fight was every time he would uh, he would jump out and jump into range. He would throw his combos, but he, it seemed like he always threw one extra strike that he shouldn't have. So what happened is that he would throw like a three piece, and on and that. Soda? On that three piece, Kamalu Usman said, "Hey, yo, you forgot your soda." And hit him with a with a with a diet Pepsi, you know, right in the <laughs> face. Pepsi, and that just added up, added up, added up. And then at the end, it, it uh, resulted in in a win for Usman. So who wins? So Colby Covington also came out and was talked about the fight. He's like, "That training camp for me was terrible. The game plan was was bad." Everything about that was I was so disjointed. That was when he had all that beef with uh, ATT, right? Where they were kicking him out and and talking all the trash and Poirier this and Jorge that, all that kind of stuff. So he's saying now that I'm I'm grounded and I have a full camp and I know what I did wrong, all that kind of stuff. Let's do it. He has an opportunity to beat Kamar Usman because Kamar Usman struggles with these guys, right? As yeah, he initially. was actually dropped by. Gilbert by, Burns. By Burns. Uh, technically, it's not a drop because I know, he like stopped he his hands. Was, yeah, he's so wobbled, right? he's shown that he struggles with, with with that kind of striker, right? But he kind of also proved that he doesn't have trouble by beating Gilbert Burns, by beating Colby, and by beating Corey. Yeah. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, I'm going to wait until it's no, booked. No, no. And answer. My answer is Colby. Who's your answer? I got. I just say Kamaru Usman right now. I, it's too early for me to to say anything. I yeah. I can see Colby winning uh, because the way that he, it was trending in that first fight. If he changed uh, some of his combinations to one less, or he made an effort to like escape and not take damage, I think he would have won that fight. But it, it went to the point where he just he just kept wearing down on on uh, Usman kept wearing down on his body to the point where it just shut off. Yeah. He couldn't he can do anything else.